can this truly be? Has the love now gone? You know, the love light, should we say, in the marriage of Harry and Meghan? According to insiders, this is the biggest test ever. As ever, let me explain. Hi, ah, good morning. Hope you're well. This is it, the day, of course, that we've all been waiting for. Big coronation day, long day ahead, let me tell you. Lovely as ever to have your company, though, on this day. And thank you as ever for all your positive comments regarding some of the recent videos. It's truly, truly appreciated. Glad you enjoyed the missing Duke of Cavendish Square. Fascinating story, isn't it, when you think? Because, again, you know, that's been removed a long time now and nobody truly knew uh, what, what happened to it. You know, the original. I find that more interesting because clearly it would have been made of some stern stuff. What happened to the money if it was melted down? Those are the stories we like, aren't they? <laughs> Back as ever to your breaking roll story of the day. Now, as we know, of course, you know, a lot of people are very perplexed uh, by the relationship between Meghan and Harry, simply because, you know, you can often see situations where Prince Harry is very deferential towards his wife, the former cable TV actress Meghan Markle. You know, that's just the gentlemanly way he's been brought up. He knows uh, right from wrong, manners, etc. But it does seem strange that he will sort of curtail to her for absolutely anything. On a recent visit to a Lakers game, we saw her very much rehearsed the rebuff, didn't we, of that uh, uh, affectionate pose uh, on the kiss cam. This is a camera that zooms in on couples uh, during games, and then, of course, you're beamed up on big screens. It's your moment of glory, something that Megan would have been very, very much aware of. But what's interesting here is, and a lot of insiders are basically saying, is truly how much in love are the one-time favourite royal couple? This really all stems from the fact that when you think about it, you know, she's often talking about my husband this, my husband that, as if she's never had a husband, of course, but this is number two, so we believe. So it's fascinating in that story. Also, the bigger picture is this. As we now know, Prince Harry suffers terribly from anxiety, mental health, all of those issues he's detailed in numerous interviews and more detailed, in fact, in his uh, best-selling book, Spare. So you would have thought on this particular day that she would have wished to be beside him. You know, that's the big deal. Now, the only thing that Harry, you know, has with him uh, from Meghan, apart from, of course, no doubt her voice in his head, are some what they call notes. Uh, this is an application on his phone. And basically, it's her voice telling him, you know, good things, bad things. You know, you can do this, don't worry, you've got this. We've seen this before, haven't we, with Meghan? Uh, it's very therapeutic, very therapy speak. We saw a writer on those bananas, do you remember? All those years ago now, you know, you're a good person, you can do this. Well, it's seemingly, this has carried on into the relationship of Harry and Meghan. But according to that very good source, you know, what Prince Harry truly wanted was Meghan by his side. I mean, this shows unity, doesn't it? And a lot of people are baffled by this because she didn't need to come over for the coronation if she truly dislikes the British royal monarchy so much or indeed wishes to keep out of the limelight so it's not focused on her. She could have made a private visit and just turned up at that point. But no, Harry has to travel alone, uh, not necessarily just alone though, but with all of his anxieties, and some say, of course, his own personal therapist on board, as one can imagine. And as now Meghan forges forward with her, you know, very extensive plans via that international agency, I'm guessing we're going to see some rather staged lovey-dovey pictures. But the bottom line is this, Many insiders, particularly senior people within the British monarchy, feel Harry needed that support, hoped for it, but sadly in the 11th hour wasn't forthcoming. I'll leave you to make your mind up about your decision and your thoughts on exactly where this particular once openly, publicly, lovey-dovey relationship is. Neil Sean in the very heart of London.